Hey guys, I am here at Two Guys Pizza Pies. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell to get future videos. All right, so they do to go, and it gives you like half off the pizza if you do to go, and you it's called a take and bake where you bake it at home. Um, they make it, they give you baking instructions and everything. This is too cool. So this is what our pizza looks like, and you can see the instructions, and voila, you take it with you. Okay, so now it is about time, and we're going to go ahead and put in our pizza pie from Two Guys Pizza Pies. So they make this for you, and I'll let you take it home, and you get to cook it. So it's 10 to 15 minutes at 450 degrees, and we are at 424 on the degrees, 425, look at that. So definitely very excited. The crust looks really good. Look at that. Oh, this is going to be good. I'm so excited for it. Okay, so it says preheat oven to 450. Adjust oven rack to the top oven. Remove protective film. Slide pizza on white paper onto oven rack. Do not place cardboard in the oven. Bake approximately 10 to 15 minutes. If dough bubbles, puncture with the fork. Pizza is ready when cheese is bubbly crust is slightly browned on the bottom Ooh. okay so they give you the piece of paper that you're supposed to use as well so we'll see how this goes okay so we're gonna go ahead and unwrap this so they wrapped it up for us and we just stick it in the oven on the piece of paper that they give you oh wow look at this the crust looks amazing Okay, so they give you a little instruction sheet like we went over. Okay, we're slowly getting this undone. And I've been told this is better than round table pizza. So, we will see if this is really better. Okay. All right, so we're going to redistribute some of this cheese. Like, you can see huge chunks of this. Let's Go ahead. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Let's go ahead and just. So, a pro with this pizza is the one that told me you've got to do this. So, we're going to go ahead and just do that. Ooh, this cheese looks quality cheese, too. Oh. Okay. I think we're good to put it in the oven now. Let's go ahead and let's try putting this in the oven. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Let's pull this rack out. That way it makes it easier. And then I'm thinking, it's like, how do you get this in there? smelling burnt stuff here okay so I was thinking I was gonna try this and do it but I don't think that's gonna work oh, wow yep I think you need to use the cardboard to get it off so using the cardboard to get it off that way it makes it easier. And then here we go. As you guys can see, it's in the oven. And we're gonna go ahead and put it in. And now it says we wait 10 to 15 minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back in about six minutes and we'll check it out. 
All right, so it has been six minutes, and here we go. Look at that. That pizza looks amazing. Ooh. Let's pull it out Look at it a little bit. Oh, man. That looks delicious. Okay, here we go. We're going to check it again. It's been 12 minutes. Ooh, look at that. Wow. looking good okay there we go it is done we're gonna go ahead and take it out and let's try this out okay here is what the finished product looks like out of the oven Ooh, that looks delicious definitely can't wait to take a bite okay guys we're gonna give this a try it smells delicious This is good. This is really good pizza. Next time I'm up here, I will definitely be going to this place and getting it. And it, and it was cheap too. It was like 12 bucks for take take home. It's like half the price of eating it there. So definitely, um, I would recommend this place if you guys are in Groveland, California. Stay tuned, guys.